Concept art is a very important part of any successful project, whether it be video games, animations, or films. It is a form of illustration used to convey ideas to clients, directors, or just to help artists better visualize the world they will make in the final product. Even though concept art is a 2D art form, concept artists can use both 2D and 3D software to get the job done, and among these 3D software is Blender. In this video, we'll take a look at what Blender can do and offers to concept artists and whether it helps them generate better results in less time. Why Blender is important for concept art For those concept artists working in the industry or those who work as freelancers, things are rapidly evolving and studios are getting more demanding when it comes to quality and speed, because clients or employers are looking to get their feedback addressed instantly and they need you to produce more assets in a short period of time, which is the new norm in the fast-paced world we are living in right now. For concept artists and concept designers, using a 3D package such as Blender is more important than ever to move and respond fast and have all the necessary tools and resources at their disposal to make changes on the fly. In addition to having the proper skill set, Blender will allow you to deal with the design challenges and using workflow techniques that allow you to increase the speed and quality of your work without spending endless hours and tons of effort. Also, one of the most important things that Blender can offer to concept artists is flexibility because it can easily be one of the biggest advantages of 3D and Blender specifically. For example, drawing a model of a car or spaceship from different angles, if requested by client or by supervisor, is going to be very difficult if not using a 3D software. But using Blender, you can just render a few angles and late changes will not require full redraw. Just re-render the angle and you will find yourself saving a huge amount of time. Also using Blender allows you to navigate the environment and set the perspective, which is a fantastic advantage that you can easily use by tweaking camera positions and angles to find a new cool shot. Modeling in Blender as a concept artist Modeling in Blender as a concept artist does not have to be necessarily the same as modeling for any other purpose, like for animation or video games. If you take a look at models that concept artists create, you would not think of them as something created to be used down the road in a production pipeline, even though sometimes they can be if the concept artist has experience working as a 3D modeler as well. But generally speaking, from the concept side, being economic is the ideal way to save even more time and effort. There are some concept artists who are good at modeling and creating environments to the extent that 3D artists working with them don't start from scratch, but they start from the 3D files the concept artist created. At the end of the day, most artists know that their 3D assets aren't really going to be used by anyone else, so they can purely focus on whether or not it looks good. To be able to model quickly as a concept artist within Blender, you can use all the necessary modeling tools whether it be primitive geometry, modifiers, and so on. But what makes the workflow faster is using Boolean and procedural textures, because you don't have to worry about UV in anything, and you can just leave the topology rough in the scene. You can also use some cool modeling add-ons in Blender if you are working on concepts for complex hard surface models like machinery, robots, and so on. But you always have a choice early on if you are gonna just model something simple and then do more painting over the top, or if you want to spend a lot of time in 3D, then spend less time in Photoshop for an hour or so. Getting stuck in the middle is usually a waste of time and you are gonna end up less efficient. Lighting and rendering in Blender for concept artists Blender comes with a powerful render engine known as Cycles, which is very good for doing final high quality renders. And it also has EV, which is a real-time render engine that has really nice lighting and rendering, even though it is in real time. The best thing about it is that it allows you to see and react to the result instantaneously, which allows you to edit and adjust really quick to get the final result you are after, as opposed to non-real-time engines where you spend a very long time waiting compared to EV if you want to get a decent result. Using Blender you can get really good concept art that looks just fine by spending only a few minutes on lighting and rendering. You can also use HDRI or high dynamic range images to let the environment or the scene you created reflect the world around it. And Eevee will make it look even better. 
if you are really interested in concept art, it is better to know a few things about photography, which allows you to capture and use your own HDR eyes to create the atmosphere you like in your scene. Also, one of the important things of doing lighting in Blender is the fact that you don't have to worry about it too much when you start working on 2D painting software such as Photoshop because it has already been taken care of. This means you can easily work on outlining the details and making the final result as good as possible. Blender Concept Art Workflow in Production At the beginning of a project, many artists like to start with making traditional rough 2D sketches until they get the shapes they are after. This is important for brainstorming ideas and it works better in the early stages of concept design or concept art to have a direction or general idea of what you are gonna try to do. This part of the process is very fast to see what ideas are gonna stick and what doesn't because this is all about testing. As a concept artist using Blender in production pipeline, you will have to rely on the modeling team to make informed design decisions to help them fill in the blanks. Sometimes giving them multiple angles of the design is not gonna be enough because getting approval for the final look of an asset can require a lot of back and forth between concept artists and modelers. This is very important because you don't want to work with a team in a studio or a client as a freelancer to realize later that this is not what they really envisioned when the asset is being used deep in production. This is one of the most important reasons why concept artists started using software such as Blender, allowing them to test different angles in a matter of seconds and build the concept pieces for the client or the director they are hoping for. Blender compared to the other 3D packages in concept art. To be honest, almost any 3D package can be good for concept art and the main ones such as 3ds Max, Maya, Cinema 4D, Moto and Blender are definitely good but I would say Blender is probably the best software for concept artists first of all because it is free so concept artists and concept designers don't have to spend their money on 3D software in addition to 2D software that they already use so Blender makes a lot of sense. In addition to that, Blender is fantastic in terms of modeling especially when it comes to boolean processes and hard surface modeling. Furthermore, it has a very good sculpting tools if you want to create something organic and so on. When it comes to lighting, Max and Maya have Arnold real-time rendering capabilities, but Eevee is just very good. But overall, I think they can all serve the needs of a concept artist very easily. Is it necessary to use 3D software such as Blender for concept art? Some people, especially new people, will look at concept art and say, Concept art is just 2D, so why do concept artists use 3D software anyway? While it is not mandatory or by any means necessary to make good concept art using 3D tools, having that skill set under your belt is beneficial for a lot of reasons such as rapid iteration and exploration, interest in shape creation, perspective, and much more. And now it is highly recommended for everyone to learn at least one 3D software to be able to work within a production environment, either film or video games, because they need you to have an understanding of 3D. At the bare minimum, if you are new to concept art, you need to know 3D basics, such as navigation within the program, primitive shape modeling, the use of cameras, etc. And it is more important than ever to learn the modeling terms so you can speak the same language as people who will have to model your concepts. This will let you understand the way they think and the way they operate, and this will make both your jobs easier. The new generation of concept artists today pretty much embrace the fact that they need to learn 3D software to be able to compete with others, simply because a lot of these 3D software are designed for artists and allow them to speed up the design process and workflow and increase the quality of their work. Traditional versus Modern Concept Art It used to be standard for concept artists to only use and master 2D skills, but now studios are requiring concept artists to master 3D skills as well. The introduction of 3D into concept art has revolutionized the design process and has allowed the boundaries of content creation to be pushed to new horizons. With the rapid pace of change, it is more important than ever to evolve or to be left behind. While the 2D design process is still incredibly important for the initial ideation and visualization phase of a product, it can have limitations. Making changes to designs can be tedious and can slow down the production pipeline, leaving the next department waiting for your changes. To address this, the industry evolved 
and started incorporating the use of photos in the design process to speed things up. But even this wasn't enough. So here we are using 3D in concept art and being able to implement 3D into your workflow soon became one of the most important in-demand skills for concept artists to have. And those who are still using the traditional ways are being left behind, but those who adapted by adding these new techniques to their skill set help themselves overcome the new challenges presented in the ever-changing landscape of the industry. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you have something to add, please leave it in the comment section below. Also, you can check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.